Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Let us discuss one question where two workers are involved and there are three jobs where we are required to distribute the amount of wages. Calculate the earnings of A and B from the following particulars for a month and allocate labor cost to each job of X, Y, Z. So there are two workers A and B undertaking three jobs X, Y and Z. Basic wages A rupees 100, B rupees 160. Dearness allowance 50%. That will be 50% 50 of 100 rupees, 50 rupees. 50% 50 of 160 rupees in case of B. So that will be 80 rupees. Contribution to provident fund based on basic wages 8% 8% that we are required to take on 100 rupees and 160. On 100 8 percent 8 rupees 160 we are required to take what 8 percent accordingly. Contribution to employee state insurance on basic wage this 2 percent and 2 percent. Overtime hours they have given 10 hours. The normal working hours for the month are 200. So in a particular month Standard hours or normal hours are taken 200 hours. Overtime is paid at double the total of normal wages and dearness allowance. So in case of overtime, it's a double rate. Employers and employees contribution to state insurance and provident fund are at equal rates. That means amount is contributed by employee as well as employer both are of same value same amount the two workers were employed on jobs x y and z in following proportion so how the workers have devoted their time and efforts to three jobs worker a job x 40 percent job y 30 percent job z 30 percent worker b job x 50 percent job Y 20%, job Z 30%. Overtime was done on job Y at the request of the customer. We have gone through the question. Let us start doing working notes. Let us calculate wages of Mr. A and B. Basic wages, Mr. A rupees 100, Mr. B 160. Basic wages in case of Mr. A 100 rupees. In case of Mr. B, 160. Dearness allowance is given 50%. So that 50% we are required to calculate on basic wages. That is 50% of 100 rupees and 50% of 160 rupees. So in case of Mr. A, dearness allowance is rupees 50. In case of Mr. B, dearness allowance is rupees 80. Overtime wages, they have said 10 hours. We are required to work out wages for overtime and that overtime is given 10 hours. Calculation is given overtime is paid at double the total of normal wages plus dearness allowance. Overtime wages can be calculated 
as over time is equal to 2 into bracket basic plus DA divided by 200 hours because in a question they have given in a month there is working hours 200 hours thereby we will get per hour basic plus DA here over time is 10 hours so we are required to take 10 hours 2 here we have taken because over time rate is double than normal rate so we have to solve this Overtime wages thus we get rupees 15. It is applicable only in case of Mr. A because there is no overtime information for Mr. B. Workers are contributing to their provident fund as well as ESI premium. These amounts will be deducted to arrive at net wages paid to the workers. will add basic plus DA plus overtime to arrive at gross earnings. Employers and employees contribution to state insurance and provident fund are at equal rates and those rates are given here 8% and 2% PF contribution and ESI contribution will be calculated on basic wages In case of Mr. B, 8% plus 2%, 10% directly we can calculate on 160 rupees, it comes 16 rupees. Mr. A gets net wages 155 and Mr. B 224. This is concept similar to take home salary actual wages minus these statutory contributions we get amount of net wages paid For computation of labor cost, we are required to consider gross wages payable to the workers excluding overtime. In case of Mr. A, we are required to consider figure 150. In case of Mr. B, 160 and 80. Gross wages of Mr. A 150, gross wages of Mr. B 240. To this, we are required to add share of employer towards provident fund and ESI premium for benefit of employee. Employer's contribution towards PF and ESI, 8 plus 2 percent, that is 10 percent, we are required to consider on basic wages. So it will be 10 percent of 100 and 10 percent of 160 rupees. So we got normal wages payable to Mr. A. 160 to Mr. B 256 we can calculate now labor cost per hour
लेबर रेट पर आवर इज इक्वल टू नॉर्मल वेजेस डिवाइडेड बाय टाइम अलाउड टाइम अलाउड मीन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम और आवर्स विच आर गिवन टू कंप्लीट अ पर्टिकुलर जॉब इन केस ऑफ मिस्टर ए नॉर्मल वेजेस 160 टाइम अलाउड 200 हंड्रेड आवर्स इनकेस ऑफ मिस्टर बी वेजेस 256 टाइम अलाउड 200 हंड्रेड आवर्स लेबर रेट पर आवर इन केस ऑफ मिस्टर ए 0.80 पर आवर इन केस ऑफ मिस्टर बी इट इज वन रुपी ट्वेंटी एट पैसे पर आवर let us prepare now statement showing allocation of wages to various jobs there are three jobs x y and z in case of mr a total wages are 160 rupees in case of b 256 rupees if we refer to the question it says that worker a devotes 40% to job x 30% to job y and 30% to job z so we are required to calculate a ratio it comes to 4 is to 3 is to 3 in this ratio we will be allocating the wages of mr a overtime in case of mr a is 10 hours the last line of the question says overtime was done on job y at the request of customer as it is done at the request of customer it will be specifically charged to that particular job according the whole of overtime wages we are required to allocate to job y in case of worker b allocation of wages to various jobs will be in the ratio of 50% 20% 30% that is in the ratio of 5 is to 2 is to so total wages we are required to allocate 431 of which to job x we have allocated 192 rupees to job y 114 rupees 20 paise in case of job z 124 rupees 80 paise in this question we have learned how to allocate wages of two workers to three different jobs depending upon time and efforts allocated by them how to treat overtime wages when it is specifically performed at the request of particular customer thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikida and subscribe to our channel ikida thank you